Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do this little Halloween treat holder. It is so cute, and if you're like me and absolutely love Halloween and all the cute things about Halloween, not the blood, guts, and gore, but all the cute things, you're going to love this little project that I'm going to do. It just holds a little treat for your special trick-or-treaters, and um, you can use any kind of candy in there at all. It's so easy, so let me just show you how to do it. I'm going to take a piece of cardstock that's two and a half by eight, and I'm going to use my um, Stamp it up trimmer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to score it at two and a quarter and two and three quarters. So I'm going to go over to the two and a quarter inch mark right here and I'm going to score. And then I'm going to go over to the two and three quarters mark, which is right there. And I'm going to score. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it 180 degrees and I'm going to score it at two and a quarter. So you only have to remember those two measurements and two and three quarters. And now we're done with our, our trimmer. It's that easy. So if you take a full sheet of cardstock, okay, whatever color you want to use, if you take a full sheet of cardstock and you cut um, an, a half an inch off, so now it's it's eight inches wide, and then you just keep cutting at um, the two and a half inch mark, you can make a whole bunch of these out of just one sheet of cardstock, and you can get your Halloween treats done very fast. Now the next thing that I like to do is to take these little score marks and use my bone folder because you do want this to lay down very flat. So I'm just going to take it, I'm going to just fold it with my bone folder, and we're almost done. We have four folds to do. These two right here are a little bit tricky because they're close together, okay? And now we have all four of our folds. The next thing that I like to do is to do our punching. And what I mean by that is I have, um, with the word window punch, I just punched a little hole so that our treat can go right inside there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to use the word window punch and I'm going to turn, this is my bottom piece, so I'm going to take and I'm going to turn it. Now what I like to do is center it and there is a little nub on the old fashioned ones, um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to take and put it in so it's about halfway um, down, this, down this section right here. So you just want to go down half, about halfway and then center it from side to side. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be exact. This is not rocket science. Okay, we're just going to take and we're going to punch our little hole. Alright, now don't throw these away because you can use those on another project. So I just keep saving all my little um, tab punches and if you're going to do a bunch of these, you're going to have a lot of those. So just put them in a, in a container and use them for another project. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. Here's the top, here's the inside, and now we need to stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and um, remember this is my top, and, and with my little eyeballs here, I do have a right side and a, a right side up and an upside down. Um, you can do these little eyeballs in any direction that you want to. But I'm going to take my whisper white card or my whisper white ink. Okay, my, it's crafting, so it's going to take a little while for it to dry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just randomly stamp these all over the front, and they're just so stinking cute. Now remember that we're going to have a little piece right here, so um, you can just do um, whatever you want. I actually have three sets of eyeballs here from the same set, and I'll show you the set in just a minute. So I'm just taking and uh, randomly stamping around here. Okay. Alrighty, so that's the front of my, my um, little candy holder. Now when you go to the inside, you want to have the eyeballs going the other way or whatever you're stamping because, now with this one I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one little set of eyeballs and put them right there, okay? So when you open it up, it looks like that, okay? Alrighty, so the next thing that I'd like to do is on the back of it where I'm going to sign my name, I'm going to take and I'm going to put another little set of eyeballs, okay? So I'm just going to take this little set of eyeballs and put them on the back and we're good to go. Okay, so now we have our eyeballs on the front, we have our eyeballs on the inside, and that looks kind of plain. Let's go. I just love these little eyeballs. Did I tell you how much I like these little eyeballs? I just love them. Okay, and with Whisper White Ink. Alrighty, so here's what we have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to set this aside to dry while I show you the next segment of this little, um, this little car, or this little gift. 
The stamp set that I'm going to be using is called Freaky Friends, and you may have um, seen my blog earlier, um, uh, earlier in the month, and it was with uh, this little guy right here. That is also from Freaky Friends. He's right there. And what I did was I made a little gift card holder. So hop on over to my blog because I do have um, more um, directions for this little guy right here. But again, um, this is the Motley... Um, it's called, it's called Motley Monsters um, Designer Series Paper, and it matches our little stamp set, Freaky Friends. Okay? So that's the stamp set that I'm using. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this little piece right here. So what I have here is a set of layers that are... Um, the, the uh, bottom layer, which is the elegant egg, eggplant, um, that is two inches, that's two inches wide two inches all the way around, okay? And then my um, Daffodil Delight is one and seven eighths square, and then my one and three quarters inch is Whisper White. So they just they just um, frame up really nicely, okay? So the first thing that I need to do is I need to cut a circle that's one and a half inch, um, one and one quarter inches. So this is a one and one quarter inch circle punch out of just scrap paper, okay? We're gonna set that aside for just a minute, and we're gonna decide what we're gonna stamp in here. So I think, instead of doing my little um, walking guy, another night creature is my little bat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my little bat right here in the middle. And I'm using um, the Memento ink. So here's my little bat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have some adhesive on the back. And I like to use snail right here. I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little bit of snail there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just um, make that nice and sticky. What we're going to do next is to take it and just cover up what we just stamped. Okay, let's get little freaky friends out of there. Let's get our eyeballs out of there so we have some stamping room. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take, whoop, hang on there. I'm going to take and I'm going to color um, the background. And I'm going to do that with my elegant eggplant and a sponge. And I cut my sponges down into eighths. So I take it and I cut it in half, then I cut it into quarters, and then I take those quarters and I cut them into eighths. And then I just put a little um, piece of the color that I'm using so that I don't have to wash them or, you know, throw them away or not know what color that is because that actually looks like black. So just take whatever color you are. Take one of your punches, punches it, punch it out. You can use a circle punch. You can use whatever you want. And then staple it right onto your sponge. And now what I'm going to do is a technique that I call burnishing. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this and just burnishing. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want. I'll make this one a little bit lighter so you can see the difference between the two of them. And I'm going to go down pretty far because this is the sky. I'm going to go down just a little bit farther over here. Now, if you were doing these, you know, and saying, let's say doing 100 of these, just do all the, this color first, um, and then it, it's kind of like an assembly line. And then go to the next color, and before you know it, you'll be done. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is my black, and that's going to be for down here. And that's because at nighttime, everything looks black um, when you're out underneath the moon. Okay, so we're just going to take and put a little bit of, and I'm just using the Memento ink again. It's a nice, fast, drying, clean ink, and we're just kind of rubbing that together. And I'm making them a little bit lighter than I did my um, original piece, just so that you can see the differences in the, um, in the colors. Okay? So now that we have that, when we lift this off, we should have our little, um, our little bat. Isn't he cute? Okay? And he looks like he's um, swimming in the, uh, the air. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and you want to do this last, and I'll tell you why. I'm taking my Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to sponge that over the moon. And the reason I'm doing that last is because I want to just kind of make sure that it gets over into this area also, so that um, it looks like it's, it's uh, kind of the, the, the moon with the shadow. Okay, and you can make this as light or as dark as you want. All right, so there's that. And with this stamp set, there's so many different pieces that you can make different little characters for each one. So if you have ten trick-or-treaters, you can have, you know, ten little, ten little guys coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See? And then you can make the eyes. They're just so adorable. Alrighty, so now what I need to do is I need to do my layering. I'm going to use my Fast Fuse because this is um, a 3D project, and I do like to use Fast Fuse for my 3D projects. They just came out with this, so um, I'm just absolutely loving it. We're going to center this and put it on our, our little project right here. Oops. And 
Okay, so there is, um, there's our little um, layer. All right. Now what we need to do is to finish this off. One of the things I forgot to do was to stamp the Happy Halloween on the inside, but I did that, um, and it's from the stamp set. Um, it's a hostess set. It's from the stamp set Good Greetings, and it's just an absolutely adorable that lends itself well to this little project because it's very whimsical, and this project is definitely whimsical. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to put this whole thing together. We are almost done, and like I said, when you do it in an assembly line, it just goes so fast. Take your fast fuse, and if you don't have fast fuse, I would say use um, I would say use your uh, sticky strip for this project. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and put my fast fuse down both sides, and then just now remember we've got this little um, this little seam right here. Um, it's a it's a it's um I don't know it's a seam. It's I don't know it just sticks up so that your candy can sit in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my candy bar and I'm just going to take and lift this up because we did not put adhesive. We only put adhesive on the sides. And then when you go to close it, it closes just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the top end of it just like this. Now this one is, whoa, hang on. We only want this on the top. So let's get that off of there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our adhesive right up here on the top. Okay, you don't want your adhesive down at the bottom because um, it's going to end up closing your entire project. Okay, and here we go. There we are. And there's our project. So now we have our two little treats. Um, one has um, just gum in it. One of them has any of these little tiny candy bars will fit in here. So um, just enjoy. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you about the best part. Um, for this one right here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but this one has that shimmery glimmer all over it. And what I, I've been doing a lot of lately is taking the... Um, I'm, I've been taking the um, smooch spray. Okay, we sell this in our catalog. This is smooch spray. You have to you have to kind of um, shake it up because it ends up um, just all settling to the bottom. So just before you use it, shake it all up. Take the top off. Now make sure that you know where the, the spout is because if you don't, you're going to get it all over. And trust me, we've all done that. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to spray that right toward your little project and it comes up nice and glittery. If you're going out for Halloween or if you just want to go out on the town one night, just spray some in your hair and you will be glitzy and glimmery and absolutely having a great time. So I hope you enjoyed my project. Hop on over to my blog. Remember, I love Halloween. So take care and have a good day.